Hi everybody, it's Jeff Setzer from GSC, talking to you again about some recent enhancements put into SOLIDWORKS software for the last couple of years. This time, let's talk a little bit about some new things you may not have known that were added to sketching. When sketching, it's common to chain segments together as you go. And you can switch between lines and arcs by hitting the letter A on your keyboard. But another way you can switch to arc mode is by revisiting the last sketch point you placed which will switch SOLIDWORKS into arc drawing mode for that one segment. Now as I do this, I know my part has left-right symmetry, so I'm not going to have to draw both sides of it. Normally I'd have to create a sketch center line to mirror these entities about, but no longer the case in SOLIDWORKS 2018, because now we can use our planes to create our sketch mirrors for us. Just pick the plane and the elements you want to mirror and you're good to go. I can add a relation between two sketch segments by just picking the point in between them and applying the relationship. And likewise, I can continue to add these relations with the heads up interactions, and I can also do more than one at a time, including dimensions. So just click on a sketch segment, and I can go ahead and throw a dimension on there right away. No need to go and get the sketch command separately. I'll convert this line to construction geometries to indicate that it's an axis of revolution. And I wanted to mention an angle, but across the uh, axis of revolution. So with the shift key, I can now do that since SOLIDWORKS 2016. That's been in the software, so it's easy to go ahead and throw that 80, 80 degree dimension across there. Something that's been in SOLIDWORKS for a long time is something called fully defined sketch. When I have a sketch and I place all the dimensions and relations I really want to define myself, I can let the software do the rest for me. Just to hit the calculate button and it takes care of the rest. Now these dimensions look pretty good, but one of the dimensions I placed to control the sketch actually doesn't really go with my dimension scheme. Rather than deleting the dimension, I can repurpose it by just dragging the dimension around on my sketch and then dragging the handles and reattaching them to different sketch segments so I can get exactly the dimension look and, and value that I want. Exiting a sketch is as easy as double clicking in the white space behind the sketch. And I can go ahead and do my revolve and complete my part. Now that you've learned a few things that have crept into sketching over the last few releases, why not learn more? Check out our library of on-demand What's New webinars at our website, and I'll see you next time.